What's up, church? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. And uh, we always love spending time with you, like always. You know, we appreciate you making it a priority uh, to, to get into God's Word with us. And, you know, if you've been tracking along, and hopefully you have, uh, we've been talking about families of faith. And today we're going to be talking uh, about the story of Moses. We're going to be reading in Exodus chapter 2, verses 18 through 21. So let's go ahead and read, and then we'll pull out some observations from this story. It says, when the girls returned to Ruel, their father, he asked, why are you back so soon today? An Egyptian rescued us from the shepherds, they answered, and then he drew water for us and watered our flocks. And then where is he, their father answered. Why did you leave him there? Invite him to come and eat with us. And so Moses accepted the invitation and he settled there with him. In time, Ruel gave Moses his daughter Zipporah to be his wife. And so before we get into uh, some observations from this story. I wanted to do a quick recap uh, of Moses, his, his story up to this point. And I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar. But when Moses was born, uh, Pharaoh, he had ordered that all of the Hebrew males that were born, that they would be thrown into the Nile River. And so Moses' mother, in order to save his life, he puts him in a basket. She, she floats him down the river. And he ends up being found by Pharaoh's daughter, who decides to raise Moses. And when Moses gets older, you know, he still has a connection to the Hebrew people. He knows where he came from. And so one day he sees an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave. And he decides to get involved in this uh, situation, decides to intervene. And so he, he wants to protect this slave that's being beaten. And he ends up killing this Egyptian. Pharaoh finds out about it. And so Moses, he's got to run. He's got to flee. And that brings me to the first point. And uh, they all start with R today, trying to help us uh, remember this and track along. So the first one is run. Moses, he's on the run. I'm sure most of us at some point in our life have probably found ourselves running from something, maybe a problem, uh, you know, maybe a, a, a situation, something uh, that happened in our past, maybe a mistake. Well, Moses, you know, he's on the run, but God knows exactly where he's out. You can't outrun God. You know, you can run from a problem, you can run from a place or a person, but you can't outrun God and you can't outrun his plans and his purposes for your life. And so God, he knows right where Moses is at. And the, the next thing I want to mention is rescue. So we've got run and then we've got rescue. You know, this is a theme in Moses' life. He's always got a heart for others. He, he's aware of, of uh, other people's suffering, the things that they're going, uh, going through, and he always uh, finds himself intervening. And in this story, um, you know, Moses, he comes across, he, he, he uh, finds himself in Midian, and he comes across these women uh, who were being bullied uh, by some shepherds. And so he stands up, he fights for them, he protects them, then he waters their flocks. Well, these, these girls, they go back to their dad, a man named Ruel, and they tell him what happened. And Ruel says, hey, bring that guy back here. Moses, he ends up marrying Zipporah. But I love this about Moses that, uh, you know, he's not insensitive to what other people are going through. Moses is the type of guy that if you were on the side of the road with a flat tire, he's going to stop and help you. He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty, inconveniencing himself to help others. And I love this about him. So we've got run. We've got rescue. And then the last thing is ready, you know. God was using this season in Moses' life to get him ready for the plans that God had for him. You know, even before the burning bush, before the Ten Commandments, before, uh, you know, Moses would part the Red Sea, God had to prepare Moses. He had to get him, uh, had to get him ready. The Bible tells us that there is 40 years that would pass before Moses would return to Egypt uh, and deliver the people of Israel from from captivity. And so, you know, it's important to remember that this was not a wasted season in Moses' life. You know, I, I know a lot of times when you read the Bible, you know, you see all these stories, these amazing things that these men and women, these heroes in the Bible would do. But what happens in between those moments? You know, there's everyday life. There's being a mom, there's being a dad, there's being a husband or a wife, you know, working, providing for your family. And, you know, these are the times and the seasons that God, he builds our character. He's molding us 
us. He's shaping us into the people that he's called us to be so that, that we can do the things that he set out uh, for us to accomplish. And so, you know, of course, we know all the amazing things that Moses would go on to do. But before he could do that, God had to, to, to prepare him. You know, a lot of times, God, he'll put a dream in our heart. He'll give us a passion, a desire for something. But then there's a waiting season. And it's important that we don't get discouraged in the waiting, that we understand that God is in control and that he never wastes a moment, and that in those times, he's preparing us, shaping us, molding us so that we can do the things that he's called us uh, to do. And so just a couple of points of application as we finish today. The first thing is this, you know, like Moses, let's be the type of people uh, that will fight for others. You know, let's not just be insensitive, uh, you know, just kind of in our own little bubble, in our own world, unaware of the things that other people are going through. Let's be the type of people that'll get our hands dirty, that allow ourselves to be inconvenienced so that we can help someone else. And then the second thing is understand that life is a journey. It's not always going to be the highlights. There are going to be times where we're waiting. Uh, you know, God has put that dream in our heart, but we can't be discouraged when it doesn't happen right away. We've got to be patient and allow God to, to mold us and shape us and, and help us to become the person that he's called us to be so we can do the things that he's called us uh, to do. I'd love to pray for you as we finish today. God, we love you. And I thank you for the story, the example of Moses. God, I pray that uh, you would help us to be people like him, God, that we would get involved in others' lives, God, that we would be aware of what's going on and the people around us. God, use us, God, just to minister uh, and, and to help them. Uh, and God, I pray that you would help us to be patient in the waiting, God, that we would always be uh, just available to you, allow you to mold us and shape us to the people that you've called us to be. God, we love you. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.